Hey guys, Beast here. And uh, well, we're getting kind of a late start this morning. I'm just getting a few things packed up. Family's out for a walk out near the canal. They saw some antelope earlier. But today's video is another product review. It is a Yuko four piece mess kit. Let's just break it down, take a look at it on the table. All right guys, diving into the four piece mess kit. Uh, four pieces includes basically the top and the bottom of the bowl. You've got their version of kind of a spork, and then as well as you've got the silicone strap, which we'll kind of explain here. But the whole piece kind of sits together. Undo the uh, silicone strap, and then you can unwind your spork, which just simply holds on to some of these permanent knots that they have on the side. And then if you need to, you can use the plate and the bowl together. Otherwise, you can go ahead and pull that through, and then you've got a separate piece. So they do consider the silicone strap as one piece, the spork as one piece. Uh, a couple things I really have been enjoying is, if you could feel this, this is an extremely tactile sort of rubber um, and it's on both sides. So when we've got this in the bus, later on the road when we finish the build, when we've got counters or anything, that's not gonna slide or go anywhere. And I really like that. Uh, the other thing you're gonna see is there's a really nice gasket that runs all the way around here. So if you are using this to pack your lunch or you have anything that's got a little bit of liquid, it's not gonna leak all over your pack. Um, that's a firm seal. It's gonna keep you know peanut butter, jelly, whatever you happen to, to store in there. Um, I've just been doing some essential spices and things like that. Um, just your standard sort of kit affair. If you take a look at the bottom, uh, you can tell that I've been using this also as a cutting board. I don't know how long that'll hold up if I uh, continue to do that, but it's just a lot easier, especially when I'm cooking by myself. Uh, generally, you can see both sides. I have not been uh, kind on each side, but I've got a nice sharp knife, so I'll probably stop using it as a cutting board uh, just to make sure that the longevity of this lasts a little bit longer. But you've got a good couple inches on the bowl and the plate is just over an inch. A couple things I really appreciated here was, we'll talk about the spork, but the design of the spork you can see matches the contour. Um, a lot of you guys are familiar with sort of light my fire sporks. Uh, the Yuko version of it, I actually like better. Uh, the plastic itself is a little bit softer. I have since switched to only um, like a titanium version of the light my fire spork, uh, simply because I went through too many of them. Uh, they were just a little bit more of a brittle plastic as well as a lot thinner through this section. Uh, flipping it over the back, you can see their emblem here. Now, when you're out in camp, you're not gonna get these 100% clean. As you can tell, there's still some stuff on here. I don't know if this is coffee or what, but um, I would like to see the logo sort of less embossed so that it's catching less things. Um, sanitation is always gonna be an issue when you're out in the woods. Uh, but as I started to talk about the spoon edge here, really like the squared off edge, as well as it is not too deep. Um, I generally find a lot of sporks start biting you on the sides of your mouth here, um, and they can be quite sharp. And these are nice rounded edges. And then the flat edge really allows you to get everything out of what you're eating and uh, we'll cue my youngest here mm, this is really awesome i need to set all of it out uh the fork end here is quite i mean it's adequate for everything you're doing if you guys have been watching me we ate salads we've ate pork things like that there is a slight serration on there um i don't know that i've tried cutting cheese and things like that. You know, you could use it to spread butter if you need to, but the serrations on here aren't gonna be cutting, you know, any steak or anything anytime soon. Uh, but I would say if I had my choice over the light my fire, I would go with the Yuko um, hands down. Now, I do know that they do have another version of this called the Switch, uh, which in, basically breaks this part uh, gives you a little bit more of a knife knife as well as a longer spoon if you're doing a lot more mountain house cooking to get deep into stuff. Well guys, that gives you an idea of what's included in the four piece kit um, and some of the reasons that I really like it. As I sort of just already talked about, the spork is great. Uh, the knife, not the best, not expecting a plastic uh, spork to have a wonderful knife. However, their switch, their longer handled one, as I recommended for the sort of mountain house, dry, freeze dried food stuff, um, does have a dedicated knife and uh, I would expect that to cut a little bit better. Um, the handle on this is long enough for everything I need. In fact, today's lunch is a packet of tuna and an avocado. Uh, this will be more than uh, adequate for that. 
Now for cleaning up, as I mentioned, it's uh, it's pretty quick and easy. It's got a nice coating, it doesn't seem to hold anything. I wish the utensil itself didn't have those grooves as I showed you, because we're still making sure that kind of having to use a brush to make sure that gets clean. I don't want to leftover food or bacteria um, on there from that. That's really one of my only gripes uh, about the entire product. Uh, now some of the negatives that you need to be aware of, now with a full mess kit like this, it's always gonna have this volume. So when I've got it in my pack, you better believe I've, I have a stove, I've got spices, I have a cleaning rag, I'll have a little bit of soap that takes up that room. Now in the Venture Bus here, it's a little bit harder because I plan on getting a kit for everyone. Um, so everyone is responsible for their own dishes, basically, trying to teach our young ones responsibility. And so they will be responsible for cleaning their own um, dishes. However, with it comes that they all have their favorite color and there's only three colorways on this one. So they will have to fight over it. Hey guys, well the uh, sun is getting high in the sky, it's getting warmer out here in the high desert, we're going to head back into town. So that wraps up the four piece Yuko mess kit review. We've really enjoyed using these over the entire summer. The only thing keeping this from being an everyday item in my backpack is just there's no titanium plate on the bottom that I can cook the food directly in this. Um, you guys know when you're doing solo or lightweight adventures, you pretty much eat out of the pot you cook everything in and or out of a mountain house meal. Uh, which case I would still be bringing the Yuko utensils because I do like the way they work. Uh, this is Wandering Beast Yuko Designs, guys. We'll see you down the road. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media, and we'll see you on the road.